Hi all. A little uh, vodcast podcast from the beautiful Anko Hotel here in Courtney, BC. Um, what I thought I would do is to provide a little bit of content that uh, I was supposed to provide across the uh, network connection last night and, and also to give you a, an exclusive view of the beautiful uh, Anko Hotel so that you can see where Simon and I stay when we come here. Um, for the future, for archaeologists who come across this little bit of uh, web garbage in the, in the uh, years to come, this is a video podcast for SOX 300. Anyhow, what I thought I would talk about very briefly is um, the idea of technology, and I believe that this was discussed in both classes, but I thought I would go over it again just to underline a few points. Um, the first point is that, that technology in general tends to be misunderstood um, and discussed mainly as machines, or that which, increasingly, that which has to do with computer technology. Um, when we talk about technology, Simon and I, when we think about it in the context of our course and the larger kind of critical and, and social um, context that we're coming at the course from, technology has a broader definition. A technology is the ability or capacity to do something, the, the know-how to work with tools more than the tools itself. Um, in some ways, I'm reminded of a passage from the Bruno Latour article that you all read for homework, um, Spheres and Networks, Two Ways to Reinterpret Globalization. And Latour begins from um, this idea, quoting or referencing Peter Sloterdijk, um, around the idea that each in our own ways, he says, Peter and I have proposed to introduce each in our own ways two sets of concepts, one coming from spheres and the other from networks. And he goes on to say, let me say at the beginning that I have to agree with Peter that what is usually called networks is an anemic conjunction of two intersecting lines that are even less plausible than the vast global space of no space that it, prepen it pretends to replace. Fortunately, my own notion of network, or rather of actor network, has borrowed more from Leibniz and, Leibniz and Diderot than from the internet. And in a way, one could say that Peter's spheres and my networks are two ways of describing monads. Now, I, we don't have to get into what monads are, but the point here is the notion that the network is increasingly anemic, that what we mean by networks tends to be computer networks, and that misunderstands a much larger history of networks and networking. The same is true of um, technology, that when we talk about technology, we tend to talk about iPhones, iPads, um, tablet devices, blah, blah, blah when we really need to be thinking about what kind of capacity or know-how um, have we developed socially, culturally, um, what do these things allow us to do? And there are a series of questions that uh, I shared with the North Island class yesterday. Um, sorry, that's driving, my technology's driving me crazy. There, I'll hide the lamp. Um, a series of questions about what a technology is. If we imagine or work from an Oxford English Dictionary definition of technology as the knowledge and ability to do something rather than a machine or a, um, a tool, then I would ask a, a series of questions. I would ask you to think about how is a student technology? How is a, a in-class assignment technology? How is collaboration technology? And for the reading that we're going to do next week, um, the Sachs reading in anticipation of David Bogan's visit, we're asking you to think about how conversation is technology or is a technology. When we begin to ask these questions, when you, you think that when you recognize that each of you as a student or as um, an artist 
is invoking or practicing a certain technological approach to image making, knowledge creation, um, social construction, then hopefully it will shift into this broader realm, the less anemic definition of technology that we are together exploring in this class. I think that's probably enough of this technology for now. Um, so nice to see you all. Sorry the connection didn't work out. I understand from Simon that it was um, useful to be in camera on both sides and to have more intimate discussions. Um, as per usual, I enjoyed my visit with the North Island College students and look forward to seeing the whole group together next week. Ciao.